Good morning. I was watching a video some time ago. It was this little boy, maybe four years old, in a kindergarten somewhere in the United States, I believe. And he was uh, trying to play with something, but there was this female teacher and she kept putting the mask on him. And the little boy would take it off and she would put it back on and she was talking to him and there was another lady talking to him too and they said well you have to wear this you have to we have to put it on you and that little boy he kept taking it off and she would put it back on and he was trying to play it made me furious I was thinking about that boy you know what a way to grow up what what this experience is doing to the, that boy. Terrible stuff. Now, I think waking up, a lot of people are waking up. And the main part of this is people say, well, I had enough of this crap. This has gone too far now. You know, all power structures do this. They try to tell you that you are small. They will tell you, you are small, you are insignificant, and you should feel bad about yourself. That's what they do. Doesn't matter if it's political or religious, this is what they do. See? You mean nothing. We will tell you what to do. You know, the Catholic Church, perfect example of this. This is what they did and still do. They will tell you, you are small, you're insignificant, and you're a sinner. From the day you were born, you were a sinner. And you need to pray and hope. You know? And by the way, uh, you are created. If nobody created you, you wouldn't exist. You should be so grateful. Right? And you're a sinner. No, the Catholic Church, they totally messed up the message from Jesus, totally, and it became a power structure. And this power structure that we have now is the worst we have ever seen, I'm sure of it. You know, people say, here in the West, they say, well, I have my rights, at least, you know, I can do what I want. No, I can travel, I can eat. And this new power structure will say, no, we will tell you what is all right. It's crazy. They will say, well, we will tell you when you can travel. We will actually tell you where you can go. No? And about eating, well, we have ideas about eating too. Your behavior is bad. You should feel bad about yourself. See? You are small and insignificant. You're not thinking about the common good. We will tell you what it is. See? And we will try to force you. you know, now p people say this. Well, at least I get to decide what goes into my body. And this new power structure will say, no. They say, we know what you need, and if you refuse, we will punish you. And they are actually doing it. It's the worst we have ever seen, of course. And of course people are waking up now, because they say, enough, this is enough. Right. I just have to say this. Now, uh, Australia, I need to say this too. Uh, I was watching a guy from Australia and it made me so pleased to watch this guy and listen to him. Somebody sent me this. Um, Gerard Rennick. He was speaking in the Senate. And I was thinking, wow, this is, uh, this is an Australian. <laughs> No, I can honestly say this, I've been very concerned about Australia. 
And for me, it's been a bit personal because I have a very good friend. I had a very good friend in Australia, this lady, and I totally respected her. I talked about this earlier, I think. And when this thing happened, she totally changed and she became a moron, total moron. And I was so surprised to see this, you see. And I was, uh, have been concerned. Now I was watching this guy, Gerard Rennick, talking. And he's sitting, well, he's in the Senate and he's standing up, of course. And um, I thought, wow, this, is, uh, this guy is good. And he was uh, speaking from his heart, he was standing straight, and he, you know, you could see this guy has got a backbone. And they tried to ridicule him, and he said, you know, I'm standing here talking now, you better listen to me. Doesn't matter what you say. I will tell you this stuff, you know. It's great to watch this guy. I, was, I will post a link to this speech. Of course, I understand there's a lot of those people in Australia, like uh, Pauline Hansen, for instance. Good people. All right, that's all. Be good.